Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my podcast. I radiate in power to create. I am so excited to be back with another episode inspired by recent events that really, really made me think. And I thought, cool, this has happened. Let me tell the people. And so, yeah, I'm just going to give you three points as to why you shouldn't despise small beginnings and how you as a creative can benefit from going with the flow of where you are and accepting the quote unquote small opportunities and small doors that have been opened to you and, and even the things where, you, where you're in a situation as a creative where it seems like maybe you're not getting opportunities, maybe you're not um, you know, being called on, maybe you're not being referred and maybe you're actually in a place where you're very discouraged. I've been there, trust me, I have been there. And so yeah, just, just stick with me with this one because there is definitely beauty in the process. So, point number one, it's so important to look back. So I say this in the sense of, you're not where you began, right? So a lot of us started from the ground up, some of us started on people's shoulders, and some people, I guess, just, maybe they just become viral overnight, I don't know. Either way, we're all on our different journeys, however, the, the consistency is that we all progress, right? You're not where you started. You may have started, you know, writing that one one lyric, that one line, which now became a song and now you're a songwriter. You may have done that one graphic in your bedroom by yourself and now you do graphic for other people. Or you're just in the process of, you know, right now you're just trying to find your feet. But either way, I think it's so important to reflect and look back onto what from where God has brought you to where you are now. Yes, you may not be where you want to be, but you're definitely not where you used to be. And I think that gives you the right perspective when it comes to starting small and being faithful in the small things. I was invited to my very first YouTube event. Um, it was the YouTube Black Collective event. They invited a bunch of black creators, YouTubers to come and to just have fun and do some quizzes and network and things like that. It was a very humbling, very honourable experience that I just did not expect to have. It came in the year where I actually, I felt far more consistent offline, you know, with all my ministry things that I do offline and everything else, compared to online where, you know, once upon a time I was posting basically every week. It basically reminded me of the importance of small beginnings and, and, and not neglecting those small beginnings. It's a biblical saying, you know, in scripture that says, you know, don't don't neglect small beginnings and be faithful with the small. Um, and in turn, you know, God can bless you with more when he sees you that you're faithful, essentially. That's me paraphrasing it. I'll put the reference there. But it just it just reminded me of how far God has taken me. And Yes, it can just seem like, you know, okay, this is one event, right to to tear, why is it so important? But for me, it was literally such an eye-opener to how far God has brought me over the years. And, you know, I still remember the days where I would have, I don't know, like 400 followers and be so excited when just one person would follow, one comment, an extra like, and things like that. And just remembering the impact on the one. Um, and it's funny how, you know, the bigger you get and the more quote-unquote clout or influence you have and God gives you. Um, it's just amazing how your your perspectives can change and how things that once gave you joy can become quite mundane. I think it's just, yeah, so important to reflect. Gratitude is always going to be a reflection of your heart in, in the sense of, are you grateful for the little things? Are you grateful for the process? Are you grateful for the small wins? So I definitely encourage you to do that as the first point Point number two, it's really important that you are faithful. And I'm gonna emphasize, emphasize that point because it's very easy to look back and be grateful, but then when discouragement may come and things like that as a creative, you may then just start cutting corners and not being faithful with where you are and not pulling your weight, not having integrity, um, not being diligent. You know, the Bible talks a lot about diligence and so, I think it's super important to be faithful with where you are. And this is a journey that I've definitely been on in terms of um, not wanting that discouragement to reflect in my work. So whether it's, you know, continuing to get lessons for certain things or continuing to work on my craft, continuing to, even if the opportunities aren't presented right now, um, continuing to 
almost like act like they are in the sense of okay if you were called to you know get a booking or something like that what would you be like how would you stand how would you present yourself how would you dress how would you speak what sort of introductions would you give or let's say something non-musical if you're into fashion for example how would you you know what sort of clothing would you be making how would you be sewing it um if you're a video editor what sort of editing can you implement now in your own projects that you can then transfer when you get bookings from other people and so just stuff like that is really important in in a sense of being faithful being diligent and using your talents and using your gifts faithfully and consistently to bless yourself but actually more importantly to bless others you know the bible talks about the greatest commandment is to love god love others you know and so god has given us these giftings for such a time as this to help other people and so right now your sphere of influence is it can be your family your church your workplace what are you doing you know with your with your ministry with your creativity with your talents with your gifts with your time with your treasures you know um and that will show the reflection of your heart and, and if you're actually being faithful or if you're not the final thing i would say is to make sure that you adopt the right attitude and it kind of you know loops with everything i've said but i think that attitude is really important because again being faithful when you're a faithful person when you're a grateful person it rhymes um you're usually going to be the type of person that has the right character and attitude um, when it comes to opportunities and things like that. So again, so as a creative, I could have been like, well, I've been on YouTube for, you know, how many years, five years plus whatever, you know, and this is my first event, like what in the world? I'm not going on this, on YouTube. I don't, I don't want anything to do with it. But actually, no, my attitude was, I'm so grateful for these opportunities. I'm so grateful that yes, it may have taken years to come, but it's come, you know, that door has been opened. And so, yeah, just having that character. And to be fair, in the small, you realize that God is developing character within you. Sometimes if you get something too easily or too quickly, you will not be grateful and you will not, oftentimes you don't build the hard work needed to sustain it. Because if you get it so easily, it's like, well, you haven't built anything. Nothing's anchored, there's no roots down and so I think it's just so important to obtain that correct character and to have the right attitude towards just your calling your purposes your your where you've been placed you know your gifts and talents and, and the use of it I'm still learning I'm not perfect at all um as I said it's definitely a journey I've definitely been up and down with this but what I do know is that God has developed so much in me over the years from going through the process and from taking these small wins small and I do use quotation marks because it's always small to someone this, these things are subjective me going to a YouTube event is a very big thing and to me to be fair um, and to others however to maybe a bigger YouTuber not so much but to a smaller YouTuber or content creator who's more new it's a huge deal and so I think it's just 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 remember that oftentimes we are living in our answered prayers and I know I definitely am and until I reflected back you know I, I didn't potentially have like the, the greatest perspective, but when I look back on my life and, and the opportunities and, and the traje trajectory, I'm definitely seeing growth and I know you can see growth too. And so, yeah, definitely look out for what God is doing through these small beginnings, through being faithful, through having the right attitude, through um, looking back and having gratitude and, and just watch the character and let God do the, the, the moulding, let him do the work that he needs to do in you right now while maybe you're not so exposed, you don't have as much influence and so maybe your flaws aren't, aren't you know, blown up as someone else who's a bigger creative or something like that and so do the work underground, let God do it, he's the vine, we are the branches, you know, continue to stay rooted and planted in him and just see that he will, if you are faithful and you have the right state of your heart, the right heart posture, um, and the diligence god will he does reward diligence he, he does reward those who diligently seek him and want to use their giftings to actually help the kingdom and further the kingdom and, and give glory to god and so i hope this inspires you um again shout out to youtube for the invite to the youtube black event it was an honor to go there and i just hope that you know 
in your small beginnings or what you deem as small that you remember that God is using everything. Nothing is wasted, no experience is wasted and I am so excited for you to shine and to continue to grow and um, watch out for my next episodes. Do share this with anyone who's a fellow creative, I'll be posting more consistently and if you're not watching this, you can now watch this on YouTube because now it's going to be an audio-visual podcast and I'm so excited so you get to see me, I'm back on YouTube and also on all the streaming podcast platforms. Um, so follow me on at Adegirl on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube and all these platforms and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Continue to shine, God's got you, bye.